I mean, at the time, you don't really see it, but in hindsight, once you've left and you realise the level that things were done to, you know, it was super professional. I didn't always like it at times, you know, me and my team, teammates didn't always like it because we were there early in the morning till late at night, you know, kind of like we wouldn't leave until maybe like 5 p.m. But, you know, that whole experience instilled in me proper kind of morals, proper values, professionalism that I've managed to take with me. And um, it served me really, really well. And you can't always do that. You may have training the next day. You may have a game the next day. It's about doing things properly. And, you know, the way I saw it is just because it hasn't worked out here, there's 91 other clubs in the Football League. And luckily, okay. Colchester um, were the club that came in. And I, I was very determined to make a, a success of myself. So I decided to go there kind of as a fresh start. No one knew me. I've been at Tottenham for seven years. So um, it was a nice opportunity to go there, kind of unknown and make my own path. You know, there's so many external factors to deal with, like I said, the pressures, you know, not being selected, trying to come back from a poor performance. And that's all kind of down to your mindset at the end of the day, yeah. kind of trusting yourself that you'll get through a bad patch, staying on the right course. And yeah, like I said, it's not easy, which is why you need to find things that kind of feed yourself to get you through those tough times. And then when you are doing well, to kind of try and stay at that level and produce it as a, as a consistent, because um, it's, very, it's a very competitive environment. So um, you know, if you're not doing well, inevitably you get replaced. So it's about yeah. trying to stay at that level.